casual video for all you guys today. We just got an update for the S6. Now currently, as it stands, this is the pretty much the best color unit and the newest color unit on the market. Why? Because the Nova Air C hasn't had any movement in quite some time. No one else is really making color right now because everyone's waiting for K3. K3 is Kaleido 3, this is Kaleido 2. So they have a few changes here and I have a script off camera here that has all the changes. So we'll just go over a few of the things. If you want to see the full review video, be sure to click the video card up above. That's where you'll see the whole thing on this. We're just going to go over the changes. So it fixed the refresh mode and refresh frequency. So how it would work is you would go over here to the top and then you would click on this one which is the e-ink center essentially and you do have different ways from HD, normal and extreme. HD is going to look the best. Normal is going to be a little bit diluted. Extreme is going to be very fast. And then you have Regal, which is just basically for books, which we'll go into right now. This has become so much faster, by the way, guys. This is way quicker than it was before by just blasting through this stuff right here. You can go to the notes, you can go to the offline books, you can open up a a PDF. Everything's just so much quicker. Oh, we're zoomed in a little bit. So first you have to zoom out and then you can turn pages like that. So yeah, that's really cool. And if you guys don't know, this is color and this is the latest color in the world right now. I mean, it's Kaleido 2, sure, Kaleido Plus, but it is the latest one. So what does Regal look like is a lot of people asking. When we go to Regal, it's not very fast and it actually reduces a lot of the contrast in the background you can see there. And to be completely honest, they said it's good for books, etc. But I can't really ever see any company m taking full advantage of Regal. It just, it doesn't seem that it's quite refined to a point where we're ever going to want to use it because really it's a color screen so the thing about color is that the background never looks that white granted this is pretty good but you'll see that's white that's gray and that looks like that that doesn't look like that so unfortunately on color devices the background is fairly gray that's just kind of the hand we're dealt but HD mode looks pretty good it's a little bit quicker than Regal you get the color back stuff like that I don't know Regal is just kind of a hit or miss thing for me honestly and um, needs some more refinement but yeah the, basically the three modes you're going to want to go to would be HD normal and extreme now they do have a bunch of things here they have contrast which is dark enhancement they have full refresh frequency and they have vivid enhancement as well as color brightness and all of this does affect the screen not so much on ebooks but it will affect things like on PDF and colors if we go to our local storage I believe we have some pictures on here the guys loaded for me yes we do so we can go over here and oh yeah that's right it says right here actually X photo has been updated that's great cuz here we are X photo so we click on that that looks pretty good honestly it looks really nice now how does the refresh have been uh, refined we don't necessarily know they did say they they fixed it, but let's just check around some stuff. So if we go to Vivid Enhancement 0, you see it looks kind of dry and a little bit faded. And that's all the control of you in your e-ink center. So we'll go Vivid Enhancement, I don't know, 67. So it does look a little bit more rich. Now, there is still some staining on the screen, but you can get rid of that by clicking the little floating ball. And you can go over to this one, which is the refresh, and all that goes away. That looks really good. That looks honestly really good. That looks as good as the Carve. And the Carve is very notorious for being extremely high quality and you can see how almost fuzzy the screen is and that's not a fuzzy display that's the texture breaking down the light so that even with the light shining on it, it 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 diffuses it you can see how everything's very diffused you're not seeing an exact reflection and it is actually a reflective screen you'll see right there that's actual glass by the camera but the screen itself and the bezel has an overlaying matte factory screen protector. So that's how it's able to look as good as it does. Something else they said is that they fixed the application sorting problem in some screens. So when you go over to apps and then you sort, it looks like they fixed it. But we have scanned around a little bit and I can't really see how they've fixed it. You can still long press on things, uninstall, manage, etc. And I'm going to show you, you actually can uninstall apps on this. So for example, a lot of you guys say, well, this comes with a lot of stuff. Maybe I don't want it. Yeah, it comes with Chinese Kindle. And for me, not living in China, that's useless to me. You can click uninstall and away it goes. It's 
it's gone. It's actually gone. So really, you don't have to worry about all like, I don't even know what that is. I, I don't even know what that is. So I it, it just uninstall it and away it goes. So with these units that come from China, that come from Europe, that come from Taiwan, all these different countries, you don't really have to worry about this, the bloatware and the things that are on here from the get-go because you can uninstall them at the click of a button. It really is that easy. So you can go to the home menu. You know, I must say when manufacturers do updates they say all the things it's more refined it's more this that, and the other thing i have noticed that the standout feature to me the biggest standout is that it's quicker it is significantly quicker in its processes everything is so much quicker if i go to gallery i think i'm able to change oh no it's only opening the one photo so you have to download a new photo app if you want all of these to open at once kind of thing but i have noticed that that's the biggest takeaway for me is that this thing is wildly quicker than it once was very very fast you can go over things like office you can go to your offline books you can go to local storage you go to notes it doesn't say at least on the change log that anything has fixed itself with notes but we'll just see now that's fast that's just fast that's very fast honestly you know we see things like uh, moby scribe and the king jim Farino, and they just they're not fast this is this is on the same realm as onyx this is the same realm as a lot of the big players now i mean i would say uh, unfortunately me book but me book is taking mm, a little bit of a time out i would say in note taking in fact they just released i believe the m6 which is just a p6 but overclocked so we'll have to see what's going on with that but this is really quick so i must say we appreciate the updates the change log is a little bit I would say generic it just says improvements made here and there and actually one of them says various improvements and it's not really broken down it's kind of the equivalent of saying natural flavoring at your supermarket when you buy snacks this is natural flavors like what's in that but for the most part it has been improved it's very quick I think it is wildly faster than it once was this is the most capable and newest and best color unit on the market right now it's better than the nova air c the nova air c is just a little bit long in the tooth this one is better than the pocketbook the ink pad color it's better than the pocketbook color the high read gaze note sc is a little bit just an ebook reader this is the best one now unfortunately that's not saying much because even big me themselves is dabbling in kaleido 3 along with moo ink and read moo so for them to do a huge update on this to make it really quick is a very nice pleasantry to all of us who have bought it because this is still massively relevant. This is the newest, latest color with the latest color technology. It's just that we are on the absolute borderline of going into Kaleido 3. Right now as we speak, we're getting color samples sent to us. So if you do have an S6, worry free that Big Me will have your back, they will support you, they will have firmware support and updates and all that stuff. There's gonna be no problems with support and longevity with these units. The units themselves, the physical units, might be discontinued at a faster pace same with onyx same with boyu and me book they manufacturers in this industry very quickly discontinue their products but the firmware support and the software support will always have your back for goodyreader.com this is peter